congratulations on your uh, purchase of the OSS 300 OMR scanner. Uh, in this chapter, we will look at how to uh, assemble the, the scanner uh, right out of the box. Uh, as you can see, the, the contents of the box uh, will be pretty much similar to what you see here. You will be provided a checklist uh, and it, you will be given several parts to assemble. There will be a head unit. This is the head unit. And uh, the head unit has a USB, black USB cable that you can connect to your computer. There should be an L rod shaped like an L. Uh, there should be a wing nut attached to it. Um, then there should be a T rod that goes and connects to the uh, tray at the bottom. There should be a software CD also included uh, with some serial number on it. Uh, and there should be three screws, three black screws uh, to screw in the scanner in position. Uh, if available, there will be two position magnets available. Uh, and then there will be a set of two trays, one with a paper tray, a paper tray and the bottom tray. Uh, and there should also be some sample OMRs uh, for uh, providing an example uh, included in the box. Now, the first step would be to take everything out of the box. and to assemble it like this. So you put the bottom tray down. Uh, there should be two holes at the top of the bottom tray. Uh, this is where the T-rod gets uh, positioned. So you put the T-rod there, put two screws and tighten these screws. tighten it uh, pretty firmly and then you put the uh, paper tray on top of this uh, bottom tray uh, like this. <clears throat> the next step would be to attach the head unit to the L rod. As you can see the head unit has already, uh, we have already attached the extension rod to the head unit. Uh, please note that this uh, extension rod should never be taken out of the head unit uh, because it damages the head unit. So uh, then you simply connect the L rod with the wing nut attached to it. You uh, just screw in the L rod to the head unit. So you do not have to screw it in completely. <coughs> Essentially you screw it in to a certain extent and then you turn the, uh, L, uh, the wing nut uh, in the opposite direction to tighten. The, to secure the head unit. Once the head unit is secure, you can put it with the L rod inside the, the T rod and use the third screw at the back of the T rod to secure the L rod. Now the position of uh, the, the scanner can be adjusted by uh, increasing the height of the L-rod or reducing uh, the height of the L-rod. That really depends on how you position the paper. So when you position the paper, you install the software, you will be able to see the OMR scanner, OMR sheet on your screen and based on the, and based on the markers on the screen, you will be able to uh, increase the height or reduce the height. Uh, depending on where the markers are appearing on the screen. So uh, the next step would be uh, to once you uh, the next step would be to connect the uh, USB cable to the computer uh, to an available USB port, and uh, then you simply let the default uh, drivers uh, install. Uh, and once it is installed, you will then be able to position the OMR correctly. Once the uh, OMR is positioned correctly, then you can use the position magnets to simply secure the bottom paper tray uh, like this so that it does not move during your uh, operation. And this is uh, as simple as that. Um, if there is any questions you can always contact us uh, through our website and uh, www.omnitysolutions.com.